Alright, everybody, my Dark Soul brothers, we're back with uh, my Prospero playthrough here, and we're right where we left off, so should be standing in the middle of the church, I guess, but I'm not remembering exactly what I said I was going to do next, so I'm going to put on some headphones so you don't get a little feedback here, and we'll... Uh, Call it a start. So yeah, I guess we're gonna. I think we're going to save Law Trek. Is that what we're doing? It's gonna be a little Law Trek saving, and then we're gonna head back to Firelink to talk to Law Trek, and then we're gonna go fight some gargoyles because, you know, why not? Oh uh, yeah, so let's do it, Law Trek. Uh oh, uh oh. Did I already kill stuff up here? I'm. <laughs> I hate to say this, but my uh, computer is being real slow. Like, uh. It's laggy. <laughs> my, so, like, when I'm playing, I'm having, like, a weird bit of lag, which is not. not gonna make this easy. Because it's. only the picture is lagging, the game itself isn't lagging. <laughs> Which is gonna make, uh, you know, might make for some weird uh, gameplay. Oh. Oh. Can't see, can't see. Alright, so that sucked. <laughs> it got laggy there, and I. And uh, when it came back, I was, like, running into a wall. <laughs> Great! Awesome! Drink a little more. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully it, uh, sorts itself out here. I quit everything else, but, uh, still a little poor on the memory, memory category there. It's because we're recording this on a laptop. And... Whoa! Not cool. There you go. Okay. So, we're going to save... Lawtrek. And, of course, Lawtrek is a... Jackass who kills the fire... <laughs> fire, uh, keeper. At the fire link. But, we're going to save him anyway, because he'll help us out. lag for me if, if I'm not sure how this is recording like uh, it could be really weird and jerky I hope it's not but uh, when I'm what I'm seeing is weird and jerky so like I'm might be doing weird stuff like running in circles like I am right now because there's a weird weird bit of lag but yeah Wolf oh, damn it. This is this is not this is not gonna work. <laughs> um so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save myself some law trick and then I'm gonna stop this and I guess edit in edit a cut. It'll be a cut right in the game. But we're gonna save law trick first. So here's some Oh still human are you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Yeah, I got you, Law Trek. I got your back. Even though, looking at me, you would never be able to tell I was human still, because I'm all blue and blue-looking. But let's go for it. Thank you. Yes, sincerely. I am Knight Law Trek of Karim. I truly appreciate this, and I guarantee a reward, only later. Oh, later. Okay, cut here. I'm going to cut here, and hopefully we'll be back in a minute. So, well, I mean, for you, it'll be just a second. It'll just going to be like a fade over. You'll see it. So, fade to back to this spot. So, see you soon. 
All right, we're back. And hopefully it's not lagging anymore. It looks fine to me. Right now it's fine. So, good. Okay, so Lawtrek is there. We're going to go talk to him down in Firelink. And then we're going to summon him for some boss battles. Let's do it. Okay. So, anything else in here that I'm forgetting? Probably. Oh, we're going to have to fight everything again. That's alright. That's alright. That's the name of the game. Since it's not lagging this time, well, hopefully I'll be able to, <laughs> you know, handle myself better. I'm going to summon a bunch of dudes and hopefully not get invaded, too. I didn't even think of that. coming over here to get the key because I always forget every time I go back to the asylum I always forget to get it so getting it first there we go okay so all right we need some stuff who are we talking to a little bit of law trick and I really like Lodrek, I don't know. I wish he'd stayed ah, around it stays around. But... Hello there. I, I like his creepy you. talking. Please accept it. I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> not enough for you. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> oh, Lodrek. You're so creepy. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna. We don't have any humanity, damn it! All right, naked dude showed up behind me. <laughs> that was like a uh, weird, weird flasher just showed up in my video. That was uh, <laughs> unexpected, but okay. So we're gonna go. And hopefully, not get invaded by griefers. Because let me tell you, I am really weak right now. Anyone invades me, they're gonna kill me. Unless I get lucky with the bleed. Oh look, there's my non-charge base. It's still all blue and Joker looking though. <laughs> Actually, kinda kinda looks like Prince. <laughs> um except blue. Blue version of Prince. It's the hair, I think. It's I mean Prince's hair isn't like that anymore, but it was. Oh, man. Really doing. Holy. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Sorry. I was just going to say, I don't know why I'm doing this, because I, sh I could just use magic. As I always do, except, you know, actually, normally I would just parry that guy, but you have to bring him down the stairs. Damn it. It's like a waste of my one humanity, which is not that much, really. Humanity is pretty easy to get, I think. Um, you know, if worse comes to worse, you can just farm it. 
but you know once you get into the DLC it's like humanity is everywhere but before then even you can just like run around and kill stuff or you know put down your sign and help people out that's generally what I do um, I don't really I don't usually invade people unless I'm uh, really bored for some reason so you know if you might catch me on a day where I'm really bored I might be invading you but I'm a pretty bad invader actually I'm like free souls if I invade you just kill me I see. He was just trying to parry me. Can't parry the jump attack. Get out of my face. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. But, you know, if I get invaded, it'll be coming from in there, which is always lame. I mean, you can't, like, avoid the invader. Alright, so we're gonna summon Law Trick. And we might as well summon uh Bro Lair. He's always a bro. Could use the um use the coin. I don't know why, I'm not gonna use him for anything. I'm not like I always use it on my faith build, but it's just kinda it's like force of habit at this point. I just summon Law Trek. Summon Solaire. Go to town. There's somebody else here. I'm not going to summon that somebody else. I'm going to summon Solaire. Even though that human player is probably much better. I don't even really need to summon people for this battle. It's not a hard battle, but... You know, as I say that, I'm probably going to die. So. <laughs> I am actually... I, I'm going to go in here. And we'll do this battle. Some gargoyles. And hopefully then we'll be headed off to Blight Town. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip over the uh, lower undead berg and all that for now. I'll just go right to Blight Town because I need some green shards. Because I'm tired of being so weak, actually. <laughs> um, you know, as a magic and intelligence builder, you have to, you know, get some magic weapons pretty quickly, or you know, you're weak physically, so it's kind of bad. I think even on my first playthrough, I don't think that took me more than one try. Um, although, I'll admit, I was like freaking out when the second gargoyle came down. <laughs> because I didn't know it was coming down. Like, I didn't read anything about the game before I played. <laughs> and like, that second gargoyle comes down, you're 
Well, like, you know, you're playing and you're thinking, oh, this isn't so bad. This is the boss. And then, you know, the second one comes down and you're like, oh, damn. <laughs> because, you know, he's constantly breathing fire on you or whatever. Um, but, yeah. I don't know why I like... I like summoning Law Trick, but, you know, you only have two chances. And I always miss the second one because I always go to Blight Town first. And you know, if you go to Blight Town before you go to the uh, the depths, you can't summon Lawtrek, even if you go back because he's already gone. So that's too bad. Not that I mean, not that you need him for uh, the gaping dragon or anything, but. Actually, I always find that if you if I summon Lawtrek for that battle and I summon Solaire, uh, Solaire always dies. I don't I don't know why. Lawtrek <laughs> Lawtrek is bad luck for Solaire, so I don't usually want to summon anybody for that one. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kerwin, the Park. No pierced to lack faith. Yet magnanimous are the gods. Cometh out to confess, or to accuse, for indeed all sins my domain. Well, let's see. First, <laughs> first we're going to learn his ridiculous gesture. This is like the griefer gesture. It's like what, <laughs> what invaders do after they win, if they're a jackass. So, yeah. Uh, I don't really need any bones, do I? I? I still haven't picked up those ones down below. I'll pick up an indictment. Stocking up on indictments? How honorable of you. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm honorable, apparently. But, yeah. Is there a Oh, wait, yeah, there is. I was going to say, is there a way to get his armor? But there is. I don't remember where it is, but I remember you can get it. But, yeah. So I guess we're going to head to the... Um, I guess we'll go fight the undead dragon. Have I done that? Have I just been saying I was going to do that since the first video and then not doing it? Um, that's possible. Oh, but we gotta buy magic too. For... Someone's ringing a bell. But yeah, we're gonna go buy the rest of the magic I didn't buy. And then we're headed to. Light Town. With a slight detour in the Valley of the Jerks. Uh, you know, as, as a magic build. Sorcerer, I guess. You know, you want to ring the two bells as quick as possible because you really, really want to get the magic that uh, Logan sells. So you, you know, you want to get into Sense Fortress. So usually I just do that sh as fast as I can. Not in this order usually, though. I usually go in to Blight Town first, first thing. Oh, hello. But, yeah. Well, you certainly are keeping at myself. Magic weapon, I don't need that. Um Yeah. Fall control, I guess I'll take. And I'll, I mean I'll eventually buy all this stuff. I just don't really need it right all now. Right. That'll can't I don't have enough uh, attunement for any of it. Okay, so that'll be that'll be probably enough to kill that dragon right off. 
Oh, hello. We're just gonna run through Myself. Blight Town, I guess. Am I forgetting anything? Hemp, soul, arrow. Large soul, arrow. Oh, I don't. I didn't buy that one. How much? How much was it? Eight thousand. Goodbye. Then. Uh, maybe I have Do enough stay soul. Safe. Let's check that out. I don't know. I might have enough. Maybe. If we're lucky. Uh, yeah, I should. I should. Hopefully. These smallest souls, you can feed them to uh, Frampt, and he'll, and actually he gives you more souls for them than uh, they give you. These sets here, but I'm just going to use them now because, you know, just gonna get my... Oh, hello. My... Right. That'll come in handy. I would have liked to have kept fall control, but whatever. It's not that important. Um, it just helps a little bit when you're going down the uh, back way into uh, Light Town, since you can just jump down instead of climbing the ladders. Well, I mean, mostly you can just jump down without taking any damage, but some of them are a little far. So, whatever. It doesn't matter. Alright, off to the Valley of the Drakes. And I guess we'll fight Maneater Mildred and stuff like that. But, oh, yeah. Okay. First we'll fight the Undead Dragon, and then we'll... That'll probably be the end of this video. And then, then, off to Blight Town. So, yeah, the Undead Dragon. That's what we're talking about. And he has a better shield than the one I'm holding, so, um, that's also good. Finally, a 100% blocking shield that's not too heavy. It's probably still too heavy, but eventually my stamina will be up. Oh, man. <laughs> Every time I finish this on the first playthrough, my stamina is always like maybe 20, and my health, my vitality is like 14 or something. I'm like never good at that. Uh, you can, I, oh, I'll show you guys anyway. You can actually take like most of this stuff without waking him up. You can take that one. And that one. But if you touch that one, he'll wake up. So we're going to back off and just snipe him to death. One of the benefits of having magic is this. At me. You can't hit me. But I can do it. Good stuff. It just takes forever. That's the downside. It takes even more time if you're going to use weapons. At least for me. It is. Weapons don't do dick. But, uh,. It's like two minutes, but like, <laughs> it just 
in two minutes, that's like... I can, I can get a run into a box by now. Okay, so we picked up the Dragon Crest Shield. It's fire resistant, which is nice. Good to have, especially considering who we're fighting next. But, yeah, it's. It'll make me be medium roll, but. It's too bad, I have to do it. Okay, so I guess we'll go right to the entrance to Blight Town. Uh, Blight Town, yeah. And oh, me ah, let's see. Maybe we have about five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. Let's see if I can just run down to the fu the fire in Blight Town without dying. It's like an adventure. Who knows? Let's see. Let's see if I can do it. These guys. Uh, you can just backstab these guys like crazy. And, uh, let's let's do it kill some. These guys aren't that difficult. I mean, you just kind of walk around on the backstab, and they're really susceptible to bleed, so uh, that's also a bonus. So you see, that hit did 300. Oh, oh, not cool. That wasn't cool. Yeah, I was trying to get too clever there with like, uh, I, have, I can just block, but I still forget that I'm way too weak for that. But, yeah, I'm poisoned. Okay, so I'm poisoned, and I don't have a lot of... I think I have any way to heal poison at the moment. Uh, no. Okay, so I'm just going to run to the fire and hopefully not die. Yeah. Okay. So, it's really... This isn't uh, so tough of a part. I mean, I know a lot of people hate Blight Town. If you come from the other way, it's annoying. But if you come from the back way, no problem. Blight Town is easy. I don't, <laughs> you know, since my since my first playthrough, I don't think I've I've gone uh, through the north. Whoa! Oh, not paying attention there. <laughs> oh, oh, that wasn't so good. In, uh, like, okay, well, what I was saying before uh, being so unceremoniously taken care of by an errant, errant club hit. Uh, he's still here. Once you get... Okay. So, I'm going to go back and get my stuff. And... You know, what I was saying is that I haven't been through Blight Town the normal way since I learned about the Secret Passage, which is, like, since my first playthrough. Um, the first pl the first time I went through there, I went through the normal, like, through the, through the depths into Blight Town way, and, man, uh, I'll say Blight Town is probably my least favorite part of the... Uh, Coming from that top area, my least favorite part. I hated that. But, uh, if you, you know, if you come through the secret entrance in the back, not so bad. You just kind of climb down a few ladders, get on a water wheel, and you're pretty much right in front of the, uh, maybe not right in front of it, but you're like right next to the, uh, the bonfire. So, okay, I'm gonna just run. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna run off and 
pick up any chests. I'm just gonna run. These guys won't follow me. I swear. And this video is gonna be a little long, I think. <laughs> Probably a little long. Probably why I'm feeling so slow. Oh man. My stuff had to be back there. Anyway. Okay. So now, if they, I think they'll fall off the side if they try to follow me. You'll start hearing their uh, soul points go. See, if I had fall control, I would have just jumped. But, uh, in that one, it's, it's a little long, so you can take damage. But, yeah. So, almost there. Almost done. Actually, we just passed the route to the Fire Keeper Soul that's over there, but, um, I'll get that on the way out because, uh, you know, they'll toxic you, and that always sucks. And I'll actually do the trick to uh, make it more bearable, which is to self-toxify yourself with dung pies. I think I bought dung pies, or maybe not. So I might have enough to self-toxify myself. If you do that, like, the damage is actually less from the dung pie toxic than it is from the uh, other toxic. The toxic darts, I guess. Okay, here's the bomb show. So, that will be the end of part four of my Dark Souls playthrough, and... Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video, starting from here.